The next time we see them uh, should be when they land back on Earth in Kazakhstan at 3.12 a.m. Central Time tomorrow morning. Still seeing some goodbye waves as they uh, move to close that visiting vehicle hatch. Inside the capsule there, Christina Cook, Luca Parmitano, and Alexander Skortsov are just minutes away from uh, their triumphant return to Earth. That should be taking place around 3.12 a.m. Central Time, so still another 10 minutes for them to, uh, to slow down as they make their way toward the Earth. Again, one of the last things to happen here will be the uh, firing of the soft landing engines. That'll happen just a couple of seconds before the actual touchdown when it's about 39 feet above the earth. That's six solid propellant engines that are intended to uh, soften the blow of landing just a little bit. Altitude. And it looks like Soyuz MS-13 carrying Christina Cook Luca Parmitano and uh, Alexander Skortsov have touched down 3.12 a.m. Central Time, right on time. Skortsov uh, is out of the spacecraft. Uh, he will be uh, helping down the slide as part of his ladder apparatus at the uh, top hatch of the Soyuz. He's waving, smiling broadly, thumbs up, and uh, he is now back on terra firma. But Christina Cook, your record holder, she is out, thumbs up, and a huge smile. Big thumbs up uh, for Luke Parmitano if you're seeing him being helped down the slide. Since her arrival at the space station with Nick Haig and Alexei Ochinin on March 14, 2019, uh, Christina Cook will have spent 328 days in space at the time of her landing, the longest space flight or single space flight for a woman uh, of any nationality. This mission also puts her at number two on the list of longest single space flights by an American astronaut and uh, with just this one flight, number seven on the list for cumulative time in space by an American. The other six ahead of her have multiple space flights under their belts. You can also see that uh, she's gone quite a, quite a distance, 139 million miles. That is enough, uh, enough uh, miles for her to have gone to the moon and back from Earth uh, 291 times. Also made 5,248 orbits of the Earth. And a long list of other accomplishments there, uh, including many arrivals and departures and a number of spacewalks, six spacewalks in all, including the first uh, or half of, uh, she made up one half of the first spacewalk to feature only women astronauts. As for uh, 
Parmitano and Skortsvav. Since their arrival on July 20th, they spent 201 days in space for this mission, but both of them have been in space before, so Parmitano will land with a total of 367 days in space over two missions, giving him the most time in space of any ESA astronaut. And Skvortsov will wrap up his third space flight today, finishing uh, this one with a total of 564 days in space putting him at number 15 on the all-time endurance list. It's been a busy uh, expedition for, for all of the crew, uh, with a number of uh, vehicles coming and going and a record-setting number of spacewalks as well.